Hey guys, uh, we just heard about Disney showing up at the Super Bowl, both the Han Solo TV spot and the Mission of New Mission Impossible. We're just gonna give these a quick glimpse because it's late here right now. Uh, first off, uh, uh, people already know our thoughts on the Force Awakens. We like, I liked it. Uh, Last Jedi, I was the only one I decided I had issues with it, but I still I kind of liked it overall. Uh, Bobby, what uh, what are your thoughts on this? Because I know probably your biggest concern right now is with the director change. Yeah, because I remember when the directors, um, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, they were the same guys who did 21 Jump Street and Lego Movie. They were supposed to direct it, but long story short, uh, Kathleen Kennedy and Lawrence Kasdan said, nah, we want it to be more like Star Wars. Get out of here. Oh, hi, Ron Howard. Or, come on in. So, which... Which is strange, honestly, because uh, if, any, uh, if anyone's supposed to come with like more light-hearted movies, Ron Howard isn't exactly who comes to mind. He's done I mean, his comedies, like he made Night Shift and Splash, like he started off in comedy and then he went into the more serious stuff. Yeah, I know, Arrested Development, but a lot of his, a lot of his full-on movies they tend to be, you know, they tend to be popular with the Oscar drama crowd. Mm -hmm. Like Apollo 13, A Beautiful Mind, and so forth. Or in uh, more recent years, uh, Frost Nixon. I haven't seen the movie, but I know that uh, that's what he's very famous for. I've, now, I've heard you know, one of the movies which are more spectacle-driven that I'm kind of looking forward to watching is Rush. Mm-hmm. That was, uh, written, yeah, I know that one. I was it. also I'm um, thinking about that one too. Interestingly enough, the last Ron Howard movie I saw was his um little known satire Ed TV starring Matthew McConaughey, and I thought that one was uh, pretty good. It wasn't a groundbreaking satire, but I thought it was really funny and it had some good moments. And how can we forget the classic How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Which is a guilty pleasure of mine, but I'll admit, as I get older, a lot of the scenes get more stupider. Yeah. So, uh, without further ado, um, let's see um, what... Um, All right, three, hold on, hold two... On, hold on. All right, I'm ready. Right. Three, three, two, two, one. So you want to make a difference? Yeah. Trust me, you're going to love it. And which branch are you interested in joining? I'm going to be a pilot. Best in the galaxy. Your name? Well, first of all, there's a trailer coming. The full-on trailer is coming tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you see that? Hmm. Uh, no. I, so it's I, really I more of a trailer. It's the Super Bowl. Why didn't they just throw the trailer in? Like, God, all that expensive Super Bowl money is just... Well, they did the same thing during, uh, during like, a preview for the Mission Impossible trailer, which we're going to do very mm -hmm. soon. God, it's like, that's like if, you know how last year there was a Super Bowl ad, although, albeit it was kind of, it's very simple for the Switch. That's like if they did, oh, hey, we're going to do a Switch teaser commercial for the Super Bowl. You want to see the real thing? You got to watch it on YouTube tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. But it's like, is there anything to go off of other than it's on young Han Solo and he wants to be a pilot and there's honestly, King Lando? Honestly, for something that's you know, called Solo a Star Wars story, this seems, okay, probably the my biggest worry so far is it's giving off a lot of Rogue One vibes. Uh oh, and I know you weren't really a big fan of Rogue One. I didn't, I didn't hate Rogue One, but I was severely disappointed by it. But just, I will say, compared to Rogue One, it does seem to be like 
one now one thing I will say I'm really digging in this trailer so far is it's kind of digging into how the Empire's recruitment works. It's almost like it not more so than even Rogue One. It's giving you a closer look into the, how the, um, how the Empire either got started or how people get involved with them. Uh, so it almost seems to give like this possible spy terrorist edge to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in where that would go. And one thing I will say, uh, the, uh, much like Star Wars, but especially for, the, for this one, the visuals, the, the visuals in this one are friggin' incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the color palette in this movie so Yeah, far. definitely. I don't know, it's weird, because Han Solo, he's supposed to be like a swashbuckler sort of thief, right? But we don't even see him uh, until, like, a glimpse at the end of the TV spot. Up until Which... then, it's all these characters... I don't know about it. But it's so weird to give off a sort of, like, spy edge. I, myself, I didn't even really know what to make of the tone. I was just like, it, you know, it looks like Star Wars. You've got some fights, but I didn't really see anything that stood out, like, other than... Yeah, what... This doesn't really feel like, uh, like, much anything Star Wars so far. Like, hmm... I don't. Uh, I don't know what uh, what much to say about it other uh, other than it's a like for uh, for a movie that they were hiring Bill Lord and Chris Miller. Uh, the only comedic bits I can kind of get from it is the soundtrack kind of reminds me of the techno the techno sound in uh, Thor Ragnarok. Like it kind of has that uh, that cheesy sound to it, but. The visuals, none of them really give off the idea that this is gonna be any any bit comedic. Uh, which basically means Kathleen Kennedy and Lauren Skazman got their wish. Not that it's bad, but it's just I would have liked to have seen Star Wars go in a not the franchise entirely. It needs to be what it is, but it's like I'd like to see one movie where it's comedic, albeit not the Star Wars holiday special comedic but... I, I get what you're saying I, I mean when i hear solos a star wars movie i'm almost thinking like a space version of pirates of the caribbean yeah yeah that's actually you know that too far off like what uh, that yeah but this doesn't look anything like that at all mm, definitely not hey guys this has been a blood moon bobby video please like this video or dislike it and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching